in the second digit we continue with the second second robot that we built and test the second construction and we'll do a small comparison with the first now there are several advantages and disadvantages of both constructions that i would like to point out both robots are quite the same size but the second robot this one here requires more parts because there are more frames first it's uh, again with two medium motors but they are attached very well so you should always try to attach the motors in a very stable way compared to the first robot where the motors were kind of moving the second thing is that our second robot it has two wheels at the back and now that's uh, that's an advantage if you have two wheels because there is uh, a little friction in these wheels but uh, you can make the robot much more heavier and uh, it will be again very balanced robot and robots with two wheels at the back tend to behave more more in a more stable way so they are more predictable uh, the next interesting thing about this robot is that it uses small wheels. Now you don't have these wheels in the EV3 set. These are wheels from the um, NXT set. But you can of course change these wheels with other wheels and uh, probably lift the whole construction up. And uh, um, this is uh, an advantage. Most of the time smaller wheels means that the robot will be more stable. But again there are some exceptions of these rules. Interesting for this uh, robot is that also the sensors, the color sensors are not positioned like this as most of the time, but they are positioned vertically. And uh, this makes following the line a little bit different. It's not very different, but it will be a little bit different. And that's interesting for this robot. As you may see on all of the instructions, we have these red pins. And with these red pins, you can actually disassemble the whole robot. And uh, you should always try to build your robot so that you can remove some of the parts with just removing the red pins. Now, if I remove this and this, and if I remove this one, I have create the motor and I can now remove the motor from this robot and that's quite fast so try to use the frames the red pins so that you can always place some additional parts in a very fast way like this that's for the second robot let's now move to the third robot